let's hit Who's record. Who's the sack? Neil. Who's going to do the intro? Um, Dave, probably. Probably me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do it? Yeah, yeah, go. Give it a go, give it a go. go, Alex. go. It has been. <laughs> <laughs> Are we recording? Yeah. All right, thank you. Welcome back. We are, uh, wait, oh, oh, we're not even, it's not a light. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> 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 To the Dragon Friends no Tomb of Annihilation Adventure. We're no up to episode five, and we're with our dungeon master, Dave Dungeon Dave. <laughs> Round of applause Dave for Dave, Dave Dungeon Dave. Dave. Dungeon Dave. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Coming to you live from the inside of an old man's hat. We have a live audience. You can hear them. They're not made up. They're real. Also I've been Alex Lee. Good night. <laughs> Over to you, Dave. Dungeon Dave. Dungeon Dave. <laughs> This is episode four of Stream of Annihilation. Five. I already said it. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Um, <laughs> let's just do it, I guess. <laughs> let's just get it over with. Episode um, four, the last episode. <laughs> 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 okay, so... The grungs of Dung Grung Lung lead quiet, decent lives of industry toiling under the hot Chultan sun to farm the narcotic mushroom powders that they ply to nearly every echelon of Chultan society. Now true, the sun is hot. True, their king is mad. But the Grung make do as they have for centuries until perhaps today. Bobby, you stand by King Grok's personal pool, watching as unbeknownst to him, the tarry ichor of your water skin of Chulton Deathback Venom dissolves in his tub. Uh, it's a powerful contact poison, and large as he is, it cannot take long to work. Filge, Frizo, you stand nearby on a ledge above the king, Baston, and now I want to get this right, you stand naked, wearing a hat made out of lily pads, whipping your hips back and forward to make your dick go around like a helicopter. That's ex Well, Baston doesn't know about helicopters, or maybe he does. What the, what's the technical term for making your dick go around like a helicopter? A, a whirly bird. I thought, it was a, <laughs> I, I thought it was a meat spin. A what spin? A meat spin. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yes, that is what is happening. <laughs> Welcome back. We missed you, Fraser. <laughs> um, Hing will be joining us today as he is no longer... Um, at a music festival. At a music festival, being incredibly unprofessional. Um, so good. <laughs> do you want to just talk about that for two hours? No, no, no. no. Continue on with, little, with your little gim gums and blue blues. All right, so Baston <laughs> sits there, making it go back and forth, spinning it right round, baby, right round, as everyone indeed has their part to play. The king is laughing, uh, but in the tiny dots... Oh, ho, 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 look at his dick! <laughs> in, the t in the tiny dots of his manic little eyes, as the poison takes hold, you get the sense that he won't be laughing for long. <laughs> no, he will be. All right, really? Even as the poison takes hold. He's like, no, honestly, look at it. His eyes are bleeding now. And he's like, but look at the, look at his dick! His look at his bloody dick! <laughs> Everyone! Uh, but despite the king's orders, it seems that everyone is looking at the four of you and the guards who are standing at the corners of the room even now are starting to notice that something seems to be wrong and are even now coming forward. Uh, uh, d uh, <laughs> this one's really panicking. Yeah. You probably have time <laughs> to jump in here if you want. Uh, <laughs> so the poison, so Baston's still high on the mushroom powder. Yes. Ooh, are there any vines that he can swing on? No, them? you're inside. <laughs> you're inside a room. But I'm inside a big, like, Is there, like, an enormous, toad. like, mushroom that he could jump down and bounce on? I urge you to get a new trick. There do they have a flying fox set up? <laughs> no, 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 Strangely, no. yes. No, they do not. A random, line, quest <laughs> random question yeah. asks Filch, what is your uh, ascendancy plans for the throne? For regicide? Oh, ascendancy. Just like, what's the. Ascendancy to the throne. Oh, yeah. Like, you said sentency. I know. Like, no. you ask this out loud? Yeah, like, what's out the, loud. What, just what's like, oh. I think you just say, who's your heir? Riddle me this. What is it? Just curious. Um, suddenly, the. And I guess she was always with you. Kruk, the uh, medicine woman who served the king, is. High priestess. High priestess. And she's at your side. Uh, these are not questions to ask before the mighty and not dying king. But hypothetically. Goes, <laughs> yeah. Hey, king, king, 
Watch me do a flip. Yeah, yeah. Everybody watch this guy do a flip. This is awesome. I think I just lost a... F I think a finger came off just now. Did anybody else's finger come off? Can I have the finger? Uh, you're going to scoop into the bar. It's, it's poisonous water. Contact poison. But do you want to go for it? Mm. I slap his hand out of the... Okay, I don't. Is there another pool for me to dive into? Yeah, there's pools all around. The whole floor is a canopy. Okay, I want to do a um a triple deke. A deke? A triple deke flip. Yeah, What's like a deke flip? From Mighty Ducks. That the flips that they do off the board. You know when they do a triple deke? Um, do you know what? That's I don't think Mighty Ducks was a particularly diving heavy film. Yeah, is it an ice hockey? The, the diving film Mighty Ducks. <laughs> where the ducks flew and did dives. I think you're Here I go! Are you talking about a documentary? A three. All right. Oh, um, no. <laughs> you, you do one and a quarter flips, and then you brain yourself on the side of the king. Everybody see that? Everybody see he just fucking brain himself? Uh, you take four points of damage. Oh, takes no. four points? Like I don't an, know what that is. Like an idiot. <laughs> um, and But the water splashes. He's hearing things. The tub splashes, um, and some of the water goes out and hits the rocks, and the rocks start to smoke, and these guards now, uncertain as they are, realize that something is up. Uh, something, uh, hang on, your highness, how you feel? Uh, do you need to get out, your highness? Oh, it's me again. The, wa uh. and the water is boiling now. <laughs> He's like, hey, does anyone need any teeth? <laughs> anyone need teeth? I'll have oh. one. All right. Chuck us some teeth. Mostly just curious to see what frogs' teeth look like. Yeah, do frogs have teeth? You get a teeth. You get a tooth. Everyone gets a tooth. Yay. I think I my tooth. What do they look like? Uh, like fro frogs don't have teeth, do no, they? No, no, no. Well, the grung, grung do. So oh, I see. Grung are really teethy, actually. When they smile Hugely at you, teethy. it's really unsettling. <laughs> um, they, they've anything. They're like they, my teeth. They're, they're, yeah, they're <laughs> like your teeth. Is that guy that got javelined there? Uh, yeah, he's there. Rook, I think he was. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Rook is like. Your Majesty, and uh, he's like, you're, you're in grave danger. You need to get out. Look, the poison, the the poison, the um, the water in which you in which you stew. He's so loyal. Yeah, very okay. And so he's basically named the thing that you've all been too busy collecting teeth to do. So the others pull their spears out and they run at you. You have a quick chance to act if you want. And in fact, before you do, just killing the energy for a little bit, um, I took the liberty because you guys have all had a milestone and it's been a while since we've done this to level you up. So Yay! as we go into combat, what congratulations. It really does kill the energy. Yeah, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's do some quick admin. It's been a while since we've done this. Congratulations. Yeah, can we make the this admin, admin really epic? <laughs> sure. Frizo, you have plus one to proficiency bonus, meaning that you are now plus seven on spell attack. You have no new spells at this point. Boo! Uh, what's my... So I'm a level five warlock now. You cast spells at the third power le third level, which means that your witch oh, bolt is even more powerful, yes. however. Vaston, you have plus three proficiency bonus at level five fighter. I've adjusted all of your skills. You can attack twice every combat round. Two attacks. Filge, you should be a level five barbarian, but as you took wizard inadvisably last season. Uh -huh. You're a wizard, Filge. You're a level four. <laughs> Barbarian level one wizard. How Wait, so have I upgraded my wizard status? Are you ha no, you chose to go down the path of the barbarian a little bit more. Oh, why don't? Yeah, okay. Did you want to? Did you want to go full wizard? Wait, could I get more wizard levels? How many times have yeah. you used wizards? They're called owls. I was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think if you want to level up your wizard, you got to act. You got you got to level your wizard in yeah. the game. You yeah, yeah, right. You spend this last level being a barbarian. Fine. So. You gotta do Thank 10, you, Dave, hours. for this gift. Yep. You can now oh. rage three times a day, and you also Red have Whoa. three. Congratulations, Bobby. You now have for whatever spurious reason you decide to rage. Me, angry because of climate change. <laughs> <laughs> you, Bobby, you have an uncanny dodge, um, and everybody. Nice. So the main take home. Um, so Grimsby, you didn't get a level because you've only joined the party recently. Sure. The main take home from all of this is you all have plus one at doing everything. Your proficiency's gone up. I got plus ten. Still. Yeah, and we've yeah, got yeah. our hit points back. I also gave you all hit points. And sure, you dinged, you get your hit points back. Do we get more hit points than we used to? Yeah, and I've, I've, I've adjusted them. Oh, the number cool. of the circle nice. around it. Oh, wow. So am I, I'm more charismatic than before. Uh, if possible. <laughs> my, hit po my hit point maximum is just a small drawing of a duck. Is that right? <laughs> that's, a, that's a 29. No. Nope. But... <laughs> stream, you can imagine how a 29 would look like a small I'll drawing of a duck. Let, let, let me see. That's a duck. Yeah. That's All right. a Wait, duck. So, so Basson, I guess this is the first that he's hearing of the poisoning, right? I think you were going to say of leveling up, which he absolutely isn't hearing. Right. Um, yeah, Basson doesn't know what's going on. Right. And he's still high. He is, but, but he just we, brained himself. 
from in diving. Are you in the asking pool. if braining himself makes him less high? No. Yeah. Does he snap out of it? Like Let in cartoons? Um, I think that yeah. This is. It's a very quick high, as I said. It takes about a minute to wear off. Oh, like it's salvia. Like huffing. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know mm. what that's like though. <laughs> la la la. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what? Them, not, yeah, not Completely us. unprompted. <laughs> um, so, the first one up to act is going to be this time you, Frizo. Um, I am going to. If I boil the water... You've been very quiet for the last two hours. You've placidly followed the party along here. You Deep in contemplation. Was that his levelling up process? He has to kind of like internally hibernate. Yeah. Well, I think this might be the first thing that you've actually said since you left Justin. You've sort of, you've been deep in thought. You've been working out some shit. Yeah. Our theory was that you felt really bad about what happened to Justin. But no, I think I was absorbing the power of the men we killed. Sure. <laughs> Like like a snake has to sleep and digest when it eats a mouse. Yeah, <laughs> I was I was slowly absorbing the temporary hit points from the uh, the, the 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 father I killed. All right, we're looking on the scene of carnage and swinging dicks. You realize that your work is done and clarity maybe gonna, returns. Maybe I'm gonna fire a short bow directly at his dick. Uh, at at, 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 at the already dying king's dick. Yeah. I just want to see if I can hit a moving target. He's in the pool. He's I don't think his dick is, is moving. Is also, what does a frog's dick look like? Baston is doing this. I was I'm doing sorry. that. I'm sorry. You right. have not had enough time <sighs> to sorry. get this wrong. Yeah. All right. Look, <laughs> there is very little story yet. <laughs> All right. Well, he <laughs> said it. Shoot Baston's dick. <laughs> Got to follow through. I will hold on. Fine then. I'll hold on to my action. All right. Until I uh, un- 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 until I'm threatened. So I feel threatened. Okay. There are. Grung charging at you with spears. All also, right. we don't have any weapons. Oh, yeah, yeah, he doesn't. No, no, none of you have weapons. They're weapons the, are all in a sack. All right, I'm casting Burning Hands then, Flame Cone. Yeah, okay, the Grung wouldn't have taken your spellbook, so you can do that. Yep. Um, so what you need to do quickly is just roll for me the 3d6 damage. Actually, 4d6, because you can power it up. Two, giga, so the first two, oh, three. Huh. Oh, that's a one, a five, a two, and a... Do use the witch. Use the three. W- use this if you want one, people five, to be able two to and see three. it. But how much is that? One and five is six, plus two and three is eleven. 11. Yes, yeah. thank you. I oh, think... chatting with Dr. Carl, I see. <laughs> 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 All right. That will make no sense to this. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you did 11 points of damage now. Uh, of in the a cone, though, to everybody in that I cone. know, but yep. unfo- two of them... Do- Managed to dodge most of the blast and only take five points of damage. The other two, however, are swept up in it. And they are not dead, but they are looking not great. Um, and now all they're screaming, all of the little children, um, frogs that you were... You said they were children? I, I definitely said oh, they, were children. they were children. Baby the, frogs, like tadpoles? Yeah, no, but also like ones with just like two legs or three legs. Or oh, little, they're the oh. cutest toy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think that's how frog, frogs don't grow... Like two legs and a third leg and a fourth leg. What uh, do you, they absolutely do. What? I, I think they, they, they grow, absolutely do. I think they grow two and then they grow another two simultaneously. Yep. Have you ever had tadpoles? No, no. No, that's true. I've never seen a three-legged tadpole. Yeah, no, they're it's real, the best. They're they're, the, that's, they do it weird. They're, they're my favourite. They yeah. just swim around in a circle. They do, little idiots. <laughs> so, um, two of them are very badly hurt. The others aren't, and the room smells like uh, French cuisine. And with that, it the next one up is you, Bobby. Rude. Um, are there, so there are people behind us in between us and the... Uh, there are, at your back is the wall. You guys are actually up on a slight ledge, which is an advantage. Not you, Baston. You're sprawled on the ground. And you, Bobby, you came down. But yes. the others are up on the ledge, and they're now racing towards you. And the hot tub, the elevated hot tub, is behind you. Let's just call it what it is. Um, and... I, I just... I just go, hey guys, and I do a dance. <laughs> I just like talk me, talk me through this. I'm just like, I like, I panic. I'm like, I don't know what else to do, and I start like doing a jig is and get this really. Bobby or Simon? This is um, <laughs> <laughs> this is both I of feel us. feel like also in your brain that is also happening yeah. right now. <laughs> it's like I'm just buying time while the, the king gets more and more dead. So you're gonna try and distract them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, you actually have performance, so it's very hard <laughs> because. You know why it's hard? Because Frizo's roasting them alive right now with magic. Oh, yeah. I it's forgot. hard to upstage that, but uh, not impossible. Imagine if it was amazing. Da- like, imagine if it was a dance so good that the people who just sell their friends incinerated were like, whoa, whoa, look at this bloke's jig. <laughs> <laughs> so th- to represent that, DC 18, and I want you to beat it with your performance. Oh. This better be a good <laughs> You rolled a six, yeah. which brings it to 12. So you dance and are... Get basically the the frogs running over you, sort of get thrown to the side. And the next one up is you, 
No, Baston, you actually going to lose this round because oh, you're same. getting up. So Making the next up one up is ledge. you, Filge. And I'm up on a ledge. Are there guards approaching me on the ledge? No, they're approaching you from the floor. So they're climbing up a ladder? No, they're actually they're still just running up. They're about to run up to the ledge. There's no ladder. They'll have to sort of scramble up. All right, I'm going to slide down the ledge like a slippery dip, but with my fists pointed outwards. Just your fist? And my feet. Okay, yep, all right. Like this. Like some, like some sort of human sled. I oh, like you're a Formula One driver. driver. <laughs> Won't you? Okay. Like, like you're one of those people on a sled bicycle. See, my problem here is it's a ledge. So when you, you're, you're saying you're slide, <laughs> you're falling off the I edge. feel like it's more like <laughs> falling. No, but how do you access the ledge? They're gonna climb up. Climb up the ledge. Uh, how? They've got sticky hands. They're going to like jump. Oh, they've got sticky They're frogs. Hands. They jump. Also, there were tunnels behind the ledges that got you up there. Oh, well, I'm committing to the there thing. Is a t- there is a tunnel So you literally you. just take like take the seat <laughs> position and jump <laughs> off. Is that what you do? <laughs> no, I kind of tip myself over so I'm going st- like down a really one of them? steep water slide. Yeah, I'm going for the one at the, who's closest to me, Dave. Uh, yep, okay, Because cool. I have a plan. <laughs> All right, well, if you have a plan, in that case, uh, quickly make for me a attack. We're going to call it unarmed strike. Um, you have an advantage because you have the high ground. So two Great. of these and the highest and, one. And what can I add? Strength? Or Just your, yeah, yeah. So you're going to add seven to it. Um, Eleven. Uh, All right, uh, you hit one. Um, also, these guys, I, I just realized these guys are like the size of me and frogs. I probably could have punched one. Yeah. How much, does that mean fro- Filch does like extra damage because she's like... Filch, um, I'm does a big frog, aren't I, You do a lot of damage, actually. You do seven points of damage, which um, makes one of the ones that wasn't burning that bad now very, very worse for wear. So the three of them look very close to death. One of them is still loving it. And the next one up is so Grimsby, who is not with us. So it's the frogs. This is you. Uh, okay, so the first thing that happens is that the... Uh, sorry, uh, bar stuff crossing... <laughs> We do this in a pub. Yeah, we're in a pub. <laughs> as much it's as we try to pretend we're not in a pub. <laughs> it's, it's the best pub inside an old man's hat. <laughs> um, so Grok, um, his action yep. is to sit there and be like, everybody needs to feel this. This is incredible. Who wants to get in? Everybody in the tub. This is actually and you're incredible. You're delirious. You're dying. You're like very... S- I know, but this feels so good. It's, it feels like I'm dying. Have you ever had that when you just like hit something so hard you think you're dying? Are you selling this? <laughs> Me? It's also no, a king. No, 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 the king. The king, yeah, yeah. The king is, yeah, he's, well, he's saying it. Okay. Because he he, he assumes that he's not being poisoned. Yeah, yeah. He assumes that the, the what he's ever, whatever he's just smoked is so amazing that he's just having a real transcendental moment. Mm-hmm. So that's what he's saying. Yep. And then there's one who's not burnt to a crisp. Uh, you know, the four, all four of them are still up and ready to fight. And Rock's there with the javelin through uh, his eye? He's the one that hasn't been hurt that bad. Okay. He's like, well, everybody, um, uh, look, I don't think I would be uh, the best person to make an uh, uh, inspirational speech. And I, I, I'd, I'd be the last to say that our king is ideal. Um, you, you, you may have said earlier that he put a javelin through my head, um, unprovoked. Um, oh, yeah. Sorry. Hang on. <laughs> Keep but, going. But look, are we not soldiers? Are we not frogs? Do we not have weapons? Should we not charge? Look at my hat. Don't look at his hat. It's a bad hat. Look, I, I am the man with the hat. Listen to me. I am also talking. Do I need to do a charisma? <laughs> well, um, yeah, you're trying to inspire them. You're using up your action to make the others attack yeah. better. So you're going to need to make a charisma check. Um, it's going to be better than my dance. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> and it's really good. They're, really good. They're it's loving it. So they 17. Which means that they actually make it. They make it right up um, the three hurt ones. And one of them, they all actually make it up onto the platform and... One of them hits, tries to hit Bobby and misses. One of them does hit Filge, and one of them, oh, rolls a one, which on the ledge I'm going to say means that he falls back down and probably into the soup with um with Grok. Yeah, he's a friend. He's yeah, he falls into the poisonous, poisonous soup. So hit it up, friend. That's yeah. what you get for attacking Frizo. Filge, you however take um seven points of damage. Ugh. Oh, you're getting very low. You are getting no, quite. No, I'm not. I started oh, no, on you, thirty-nine. Yeah, you baby. Ding, so you're fine. Oh, you um, and then the next up is you again, Frieza. As your um, spell dies you know, down. How many two are left? Is it two? Uh, there's two up there with you, and there's down, old mate downstairs. 
All right, and we have no weapons. We Brooke. have no. We have, we have, we, we've got nothing left. Just your spells and yeah, you Just, came with no weapons. All right, I'm gonna ca- I'm gonna cast invisibility. Okay. On yourself? Yeah, on me. You blink out of existence, and nobody knows where you are. And now, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna jump down off the ledge. Okay, so you're running away. Uh, well, I'm gonna go kill the king. He's already dying. I mean, sure. Yeah, I'm gonna speed it up. Okay, cool. So you head down. You you cast a visibility on yourself, and you head towards the king. And the next one is you, Bobby. And so is is Crook still got a javelin protruding from his head? Uh, a rock. A rock yes, does. <laughs> the yes. names are very similar. Ah, uh, yes. Um, is he on the down the bottom? He is. He yeah, because he just gave the speech. So I make a a dash over there and <laughs> pull the javelin from his head. Oh, yeah, I suppose he's still got that. All right. Um, no, so you explicitly said last week that he did. No, I know. I guess that's so. All right. Make a um, opposed um, his acrobatics versus your acrobatics. You get plus seven. He rolled a eight. What did you get? I got a four plus uh, seven. So that's an 11. So, plonk, you pull the javelin out of his head. Um, let's say doing three points of damage, which he's not loving that. And the you now have a javelin. Congratulations! Great. Next up is you, Baston. You. Um, where, so so I'm I'm near the guards, like the orange guards. You're right? near you're near Rourke and Bobby. Who um, oh, can I just throw Rourke into the into the hot tub? Yeah, make an athletics check against him. Yeah, I'ma throw you in again. Like a tough a, guy. A he got nineteen. A Whoa! <laughs> so you guys um to use a Mighty Ducks reference, you bash brothers them. Nice. Um, th- like you grab this, the javelin, you pull back. He loses his balance, and Baston gets up and tips him over the edge. And then we high five. Yeah. <laughs> you knock your hockey sticks against each other, and he falls into the sizzling quack, um, quack, quack. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and he and the other one are basically, let's say, dead. So there are two left up there with you, and the next one is you, Filch, who is now on the ground. Who's left? There are two, and they're up where you were last turn. Oh, but I, now I'm not there anymore. You're on, you, you climb back up. Climb yeah. back up. Um, I think we should just k- uh, kill the king. Kill the king. All right. Let's kill the king. I'm mad. You're going Dave. into a rage? Why are you mad? <laughs> yeah, why are you mad? I'm mad because of the way he's been treating his subjects, and I'm thinking of my friend I made back in the fields, and I'm mad about the case t- system. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been stewing on it, yeah. and I'm mad. All right, congratulations. So you, you're going to run up to the king. And I'm going to punch him um, in the face. Yep. Just you're gonna, classic style. All right, so go is ahead. What, is, 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 is Phil able to punch without getting in the actual poison? No, absolutely not. But we'll deal with that in a second. So no, isn't he resting against the back of the... His, his entire skin is poisonous. The skin is poison. Remember the whole slappy thing? Oh yeah! Come on, you're angry. You don't get a choice. So God damn it! You uh, you make t- you roll two dice. You pick the highest. You might not get very poisoned. Thirteen there, so 13. that'll do it. So you get him, um, you punch him, and um, angry as you are, you do two plus four plus two is six, eight points of damage, and you punch him and something goes very wrong and cracks in his neck and actually his whole sort of bulbous um, lotal neck pouch sort of seems to... Dave, into the microphone. Ah, his whole kind of... Um, so yeah, you punch him and his kind of glottal neck pouch pierces and there's a horrible deflating sound as his, his head kind of twists back and then he sinks... called a dewlap? Yeah, all right. Well done. He sinks into the the water, which <laughs> bubbles and bubbles and bubbles. But at the same time, make for me a constitution saving throw for yourself because you are now covered in his slimy, viscous... Uh, plus two, 21. And you're bloody loving it. If anything, it's a nice... Lick it. Okay. <laughs> okay, make another... Yeah, okay, make another one. Um, <laughs> I got cocky, you I guys. So eight. I got an eight. No, that's not enough. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, yeah, what happened to Simon last episode happens to you. You go into a Woo! faraway place for Filge. Does she get a very swollen tongue? Like, and you like, have like, disadvantage like, for everything, and your rage instantly ends. Oh, no. If Are there guards left to kill? Um, or we chill now? With the sight of that, I think that the last two... Yeah, uh, yeah, nine or twelve. Okay, so they both run. Um, and they're not the only ones. Since this fight has started, all of the acolytes, um, the red... Uh, Grung and the children have all dived into sort of little pools and tunnels and have escaped and the room is now very very empty except 
before a figure at the far tunnel you see, which is the high priestess um, from before, who, the uh, crook was her name, and she is beckoning quickly for you to come and follow quickly, her. Quickly, quickly, I'm beckoning, quickly, quickly. Um, before she does that, I, with the, the water pouch that I have, I screw up some of the water that um, the frog was sitting in, which will be like diluted venom, but also presumably some essence of frog, like that he's been sitting there for so long. So like two types of poison. You're going to need to make for me a, um, a cons- you'll get your hand in it. If you no, do I'll it. dip it in. Like It's a, a water skin. It's got a very small little... No, it's like, a, it's like dipping, a, dipping a baby in a, in a magical river. River sticks. You know that baby? The Achilles? Yeah. You yeah. Dip me in your that wasn't the river sticks, by the head, wasn't it? No, it would be very bad if it was the river sticks. Why, which, which one's the river sticks? The death one? Which one was it? Oh, it was Sticks. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Thank you, right. audience. Yeah. Yeah. Let's never invite audience again. Wait, you know that because of a Louis C.K. bit, don't you? Uh, maybe. I think yeah. I also know it because I um, am really cool and know a lot of things. Yeah. He knows he's big on mythical rivers. Yeah. Name a mythical river. I'll tell you all about it. Okay, so sorry. Sticks. So the Nile. Oh. <laughs> well, you dip a baby so now, ex- now explain to me how holding a water skin by its ankle, you can fill it up with a... Right. What, what shape is this water skin? Water skin's don't Okay, have water ankles. skin is basically a pouch <laughs> that has a small <laughs> opening at the top. And wh- yep. what shape is the pouch? <laughs> oh, the, it's like a, like it a bladder. It's a bladder. Okay, so I hold. If it's, if it's, it's like those little uh, sucky shape. cups that babies eat. I hold, I hold the top end and I'll go like that. This bit. What happens there, mate? What's that all about? So, do you want to do backflips? Yeah, sure, no, 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 no problem. Hey, Roll a dice. This is the water line. This if is that's the, water the line. opening. Arm is the water line. Here we go. Arm is the water line. Go. Yeah, go, go, go. That's the opening there. <laughs> yep. Glug, 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 glug. Yeah, but then, but then it's wet when you pick it up. Yeah, and I hold it by the same. Shake, shake. All right. So, so holding it with daintily between two <laughs> fingers, you run out with a water skin that is about a third full of boiling frog soup. Um, frog so soup. Yeah. Congratulations! You have a water skin that is a third full of boiling frog soup, and you all presumably make your way to a crooked. I'm going to steal yeah. some drugs. Steal some of the king's There's drugs. There's none. Oh, his, his his pipe and everything fell into the. Oh. Filch has a bunch of that drug. In fact, anyway. he sunk into. So his gold rings, his chains, his oh. circle, all of that. Are there any guard he was my weapons? Friend. Yeah, there are spears. You could all pick up spears. Spear, yeah, please. let's get spears. All right, you all get tiny spears. Oh, spear. Except for Bobby. They're javelins. For you guys, that they count as javelins. For you, they're regular you, spears. You get a regular sized spear, um, and you guys make your way to Crook. Come, come. There's no time to waste. I don't remember if I sounded like this last week, but I sound like this this week. <laughs> <laughs> Flawless every time. Uh, Where are you taking we us? Fo- we follow her. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can watch it back. <laughs> um, I did. I watched it she back. I can't you, remember. She races you through a tunnel. Um, she's holding a little um, sort of a thatchet of mushrooms, the glowy kind, which she's using to sort of light her way. And she takes you down through a tunnel, and then it opens up inside a room that you realize is... Um, some kind of infirmary. This must be the hospice that they mentioned. There are Grung who sort of in panic because of the sounds that they've heard are sort of up against the wall scared of you um, as she leads you to a bed where you find Sir Grimsby and also a sack full of presumably all your sack, weapons. Sack, 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 sack. And oh, can, can I say she slams the door to the infirmary shut Okay. and sort of bolts it. Yeah, so you guys are locked inside there for now. Okay, I grab my weapons. Grab my sword. Yep, it's all there. Grab my maul. But we right, we only have what we're carrying because we left all our junk back with the giant T Rex. Um, you lo- you left a lot of stuff with the T Rex, right, even more right. stuff on the boats, even more stuff <laughs> in the Anzara. Uh, you are really struggling to hold on You're to just equipment. Hemorrhaging items. Yeah, but yeah. you have the stuff that you had before, and Sir Grimsby is awake. Oh, sorry. What did I miss? And in fact, you have um, we'll say twelve hit points. You're not full. It, you're not great. Uh, well, this seemed like a bit of fun. They're all frogs. I thought only one of them was a frog, but get they're all frogs. <laughs> little frog place. I got a hat. Oh, yes, you did. So what else happened? Um, we killed their king. Ah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We got to get out of here, I guess. <laughs> yes, I would say we have to get out of here very, very quickly. Um, but crook- we did what lady told us to. Uh, and, and, and that crook um, steps forward and she goes, yes, you know, the, the king was mad and it is, it is well, actually, no, you want to say it? Yes, yes, the king was mad. <laughs> it's important we get the voice who right. Will be, who will be the king now? Uh, she says, yeah, the king was mad. 
<laughs> Don't change your voice again. Uh, I, I can't remember what she sounded like, but she basically says, yes, the king was mad, and thank you very much for doing this. Um, the king's son will now reign as the king, which I hope you understand is a much better situation. And as she says that, actually, um, inside her robes, a tiny... There's a sort of movement in her robes, and up on her shoulder peeks out a tiny grung youngling, and gold, bright gold as the other one, but very obviously very newly spawned. G'day! <laughs> uh, Phil reaches out and grabs grabs him by the neck. <gasps> uh, make a dexterity. Pose dexterity. Are they still got a disadvantage? Uh, yes, slippery. yeah, yeah, you're very high. Do you still get to add points when you got disadvantage? No, no, you don't, and you lost your age. Um, oh, so you... 13. So I can't... Uh, plus two, right? 17. No, oh, you know what? You yeah. made that. No, Congrats. No, she rolled a five. So you grab... What are you doing? No gold skins will rule this place. This is a, this is a child, an infant. Oh, hey. <laughs> I put him in my backpack. <laughs> oh, I'm in a backpack. <gasps> Phil has a son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's real dark in here. Um, all right. Krug... Um, <laughs> looks you know not what you do. Give us back our air. Mm, nah. Hey, there's like a water bottle in here and some papers. Okay, two things. <laughs> Firstly, um, make... Oh, look, a little apple. Make a con- const- constitution saving throw for me because you touched a gold grung. Uh, what happens Ooh. when you do that? Oh, uh, let's see. But he's just a little baby. I got a 16. I'm rolling you remarkably You got a 16 and well. a 19. All right. So you're fine. Um, because there's no justice. And, <laughs> and then hey. she starts chanting, hey, Green crook. King, Green King. Hey, oh, Crook, I'm in a backpack. All right. Crook How wild is that? furious and she starts, she throws back her head and starts chanting in a very high-pitched whine and her eyes glow red and sort of dark um, magics start to coalesce. Well, she was bad, says Filch. <laughs> You've got very little time to act. Do you want to do anything? She seems bad. I'm doing the right thing here. Um, I throw a javelin through her, her soft, moist middle. Oh, we're killing everyone. Why are we killing everyone? <laughs> <laughs> this is a surprise. Eden just wanted to get high and spin his <laughs> penis around. <laughs> <Yeah>. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Uh, that's a six. All right, you throw your javelin She's and... She's using dark magic. What and it misses with that to the side, but then her spell uh, takes hold and Filge... Uh, she hits you um, with a dark sort of spear of what seems to be sort of a kind of dark green, almost like a tentacle, and it does 13 points of damage what? to you. And two more of her acolytes, uh, as scared as they were, uh, come towards you, and their hands are also okay. glowing, um, but they're not between you guys. They're sort of at the far wall, so you can, you know... You, You've, that you're not surrounded yet, but you will be very soon. And she's like, we were wrong to put our faith in these foreigners. Attack! Run away! The, we door, run. the door is closed. Okay, so the door was only barred on the inside, so you guys are running? Yeah! All right, so you make your way. this place? You still got the frog in your backpack? Yeah! All right, all right. You, all right, you do what you want. So you run out the door. You're being chased by the grung and... For the, as I said, the Grung are a... Le- he's not angry, he's just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> as I said, they... She's clearly evil. The Grung Lee... She was qu- using us. I don't regret anything. The Grung Lee quiet, decent lives of industry, toiling under the hot shelter in summer. However, in this day, their king has been murdered. Um, most... Their, a, a, a fire has is now burning in their holy place. That giant, obese, wooden statue that you guys were inside. Your burning hand spell, Friezo, has now started a fire. And it is clear that this centuries-old um, tower will probably burn down, taking with it the paddy fields that are the economy and livelihood of this place. Okay. And with its king, uh, in, and only heir, and I say only heir because you killed his father, um, in your backpack, you are now racing, and these grung are picking up weapons. Oh, it's and a bit bumpy in here. And What's going on? And chasing you as you make your way to the thorn gate that let you in. Um, as you leave, javelins are already starting to fly. Two of them fly out, and one of them hits you, Bobby, for five hit points of damage. And you make Sosa. your way through the thorns and into the maze, and you are now inside the maze. Wait, 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 wait. So... We've got the king. We're taking the king with us. Ah! Are we going to kill him or... Dragon huddle. I think we need to... Maybe we should have thought about this. Sorry, I got a bit, you know, maybe we could... We yeah, could, your you know your, 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 the poison is wearing off now. Uh, yeah. we, have a, we have a hostage is look, what we have. Oh, okay, all right. All right. Filch had some time to think. And we have Filch thought she was doing the right thing, but 
Maybe feel drunk, but maybe... Maybe you could give the king a pep talk. Maybe maybe we could have a new friend. The king's not trying to escape. The king is too young to really understand what is happening. Well, he's too bloody young to rule the country, if you ask me. (laughs) Well, he didn't want to rule the country today. I don't think ascension was on his, the top of his to-do list, is, Alex. Is there a throne at all back at the... There was, yeah. We burned it down. Tub. It's it was all lovely. Burnt, it's all burnt down. We well, first you filled it with poison. Then you knocked it over. Then you set fire to the building it was in. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. There's no, no, there's no throne. I can't what's, remember what's, why we went in here in the first place. Oh, we're <laughs> running from a dinosaur. <laughs> was what's, there a map? What's left in the infirmary? Um, you're you're not in the infirmary. You're, like in, you're in the thorn maze. I didn't leave. I'm still invisible. Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, he did. Okay, oh, yeah. <laughs> you've traded Frizo for a small um, gold <laughs> groomling. So I mean, not a terrible... Frizo, you haven't moved, so nobody's seen you. So um, the as the rage leaves the priestess's eyes, um, they fill with tears, and she's... Uh, Healing wail starts, which is soon picked up by the other priestesses and priests inside the infirmary as they start uh, what seems to be a kind of renting of their skins and mourning thing that they got going on. It's like, all hope is lost. The true air, the good air, the sane air that we worked and toiled for years to put in the throne is gone. And then a voice from somewhere in the infirmary slash the compound just says, it appears you're looking for a king. <laughs> <laughs> she looks up and is like, what was that? I said it appears that you is are that looking- that invisible wizard? Dispel magic. And she casts a dispel magic spell and you come visible again. <laughs> All right, I shoot her with the elephant gun then. No, you, no, you, no, you, you left the elephant gun. No, we left it in a tree. In no. No. You had it no. like, they, they, these, these Muppets left it in a tree. Oh! Also, it takes six minutes to assemble. Yeah, well, I would have done that while I was when I got longer it because you got to get back to the tree. <laughs> All right, I run with the I run away then. All right, well, uh, that's difficult because yeah. <laughs> you're now surrounded. So, make a dexterity quickly. Just make a opposed dexterity um, or athletics if you have it. Actually, uh, I rolled a <laughs> six. All right, they, I ro- <laughs> rolled an eighteen. Boy. And an 18, <laughs> two of the grung dive at you and grapple you to the ground and they start lashing you with ropes. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, cutting back to this the... This is a little thing called fucking consequences. <laughs> Meanwhile, cutting back, cutting back to the maze, you guys have at this point <laughs> realised that Frizo is there. not with you. Mm, Wait um, a second. Frizo's not with us. Mm. Maybe if we just, like... Teach this new golden king about uh, like Rawls' theory of like social economy. No, Baston wouldn't know that. <laughs> if we just tell him to be nice to everyone, oh, yeah, that then we can. Good. Oh, sorry to pipe in, guys. Um, I'm just, gosh. Eh. Will okay. you be a good king? He, he pops out and just his the little oh, side, his little face little is coming and he's out, like this, coming he's out the so side of the backpack. Cute. Oh, hey guys. Oh Hi. gosh, is this the maze? I heard about the maze. It's all spiky. <laughs> Come on, he seems pretty chill. Where are you, you guys going to go? What are you, we're going to go on an adventure. Oh! You want to come? Sure. Where? Where are we going? What are you doing? Trade off is you will never see your home again. Oh, but and what? probably won't be king. At this point, you realise you've also forgotten about Gribbets, who was presumably <laughs> just somewhere in the burning building. But go on. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. Well, I mean, if I'm really honest, the kingdom was kind of doomed a little bit. I mean, the undead keep kind of un- overrunning it and stuff. You know, it was really drilled into me by Crook that I had to, like, be a really good king and, like, figure it out. But if I'm really honest, I really enjoyed my time in the backpack and hearing you guys, like, kind of talk about being nice and stuff. Mm. So what are you saying? You want to stay with us? Yeah. So definitely not being kidnapped. Please sign this. <laughs> okay, so if... <laughs> uh, the Even one if he signed it, I don't think that would hold up, Alex. <laughs> um, Said me not kidnapped. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, my name's Grok. <laughs> 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 All right, Grok, um, we need to go back and get our friends. And to do that, we need you to command us, like command your subjects to... Um, to uh, maintain our safety and our safe passage in and out. If I go in, they won't let me out. I mean... You can say, 
we can we'll work it out. Once we get in there, we'll um we'll, we'll you can get back in the backpack and just say you're going to the toilet. Uh, and it's cool, guys. I really like it in the backpack. You can stay in my backpack and just make your pronouncement from my oh, backpack. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Make a make a uh, persuasion check for me. Um, we're gonna call this DC 15. Uh, you rolled a 13 with your persuasion, charisma plus three, 16. That will work. So he wants to believe you um, because he's. It's true. Uh, the way that a powerful ca- cast system like this works, they cannot operate without their king. They will not let him leave. And in fact, having taken him away, you would have doomed this community to death. So you walk back in and you see a scene of utter chaos. The fire is not being put out. Uh, Most of the grung are just weeping on the ground. Um, Some of them are running around in circles. Some of them them just suck at each other (laughs) 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 off. They're they're, they're frogs. They're frogs sucking each other off. Yeah. (laughs) Just in like panic. Because <laughs> it's the end of the world. And they're just <laughs> I'm, on e- I'm on antibiotics and I shouldn't be having wine. <laughs> okay. Oh, the history. As I said, the a scene. Are taking over. As I said, a scene of pandemonium. <laughs> and <laughs> how, how many? Like, what portion of the soldiers? As are I said, a scene. Oh, I've got a question. <laughs> Is there some intercased cast? Yeah, oh. yeah, that's that's that's. Is that are they mingling? Gold frogs and green frogs oh, sucking each that. other up. This that is way. the utopia that Filch <laughs> dreamed of. There is, <laughs> there's there's no gold grung. You have the only gold grung. Wait, orange, if there has orange. to be two frogs sucking each other off for the for the like to keep <laughs> the fiction. It's a red grung and a blue grung. Can we at least uh, agree yeah, on that? Yeah, I can live with that. Wait, All right. Is it just two frogs doing it? Yes, only two. Because if it's only two, uh, that's going to be real weird later on if their world doesn't end. Because <laughs> if everyone's doing it, then everyone just won't talk about it. But if it's only two of them, imagine next week and it's, yeah, it's like, like, yeah, that was uh, pretty, got pretty crazy yeah. there at the end of the world, didn't hey, it? Hey, Ryan and Carl, like, no, no, nobody else was like... <laughs> yeah, just... Just just doing that. Like, yeah, we're we going to we gonna ask them about that? You sort of went from like, Zero to ten, and zero yeah. is like not Was sucking each other off, and ten I mean, is. I, I think the fire would have gone out quicker if we weren't sucking each other <laughs> off. But. Yeah, w- were they doing that while everyone else is trying <laughs> to, to put out the fire? Yeah. And then just it's this thing. It's like Ryan. Like I got to say, like by the time that I was like, we should get some water. It just fucking. Or he's like, I know a way to put the <laughs> fire out. Wait, what you got to do is get down on your knees. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure this is going to help the fire? <laughs> All right, and they have not noticed you. Um, <laughs> such is the scene of chaos and confusion um, and strange erotic energy before you. So I shield the eyes of the gold king frog so he doesn't have to see it. All right, uh, make a constitution saving throw for me. Oh, oh, no, yeah, just got, oh you're putting it in front? In front, yeah. I'm putting them in her, his eyes. No, you're high again. Um, <laughs> so f- uh, no one notices it, but at this point, Filge goes into her little gold grung place. And I call out to, I call out, Frizo, weapon, where are you? Where is, where is, where is Gribbit? Yeah, we don't, we don't know where Gribbit no, is. No, but you know. I know. <laughs> he would have followed us down the hallway. No, 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 you've, you've lost him. You don't know where he is. Um, Audience, where's Gribbit? Do we remember? No, I know, I, I know where Gribbit is. You don't, right. you don't, I don't need help. I'm no, okay. I know, I'm asking. No, no I'm not. Is Gribbit in the pit? <laughs> no, I, no, I know you won't give me help, so I'm wondering. <laughs> no, no, you don't get it to phone all a fucking right, friend. All right. So all right. I can't find Gribbit. I think he's in the pit. All right. Um, so oh, the pit. Yeah, the pit. Do you want to look at the pit? Yeah, let's yeah. look at the pit. All right, so no one's stopping you. Everyone's there's a panic, and you guys walk over to the pit. And inside the pit, congratulations, just sort of sitting there because he was not let out is Gribbits. Oh, yeah, of course you came back for me, guys. Hey, how's it going? I saw you leave earlier, and I was like, oh, good, I go. Oh, you're gone. But I thought that maybe you were going to get me something like a present or whatever. But hey, here we go. Uh, I Are like- you those two frogs sucking each other <laughs> off? <laughs> Um, I, is there a lock on the pit or is it just a latch? It's a wide angle cage. Like you can no, see. No, you can kind of like. <laughs> got I a thought mirror. about it, the angles. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's the lock situation um, on the. You, t- we could, you could, um, oh, I'm, I'm just going to so kick s- it in. I'm kicking the shitty door in. Yeah, okay. You, you kick the door in. It's a tiny, it's a reed system. So yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> made, from, <laughs> made from reeds. Yeah, everything is made from reeds. Why didn't we just bust out of it before? <laughs> 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 All right. You, um, so we've got the weapon out. Yep. Where's Frizo? Frizo! You don't know where Frizo is. Meanwhile, Frizo inside the infirmary. Mm. So um, I've been lashed you down. Been, you are now tied. You have ruined everything. Oh. You are tied. Yeah, as, yeah, as, and as you say this, this they, are, they are tying you onto a bed that they've dragged into the center of the room. Comfy. In what way have I ruined anything? Well, 
Really? <laughs> what did I do? Well, <laughs> we asked you to kill the king so the new heir could come to the throne, and that was really good, and then you killed the heir! I didn't kill the heir. I was hanging here with you guys. Ah. I, didn't, I mean, look, uh, who cares? I didn't kill anybody. I mean, you as like your party. Has... Yeah, but I'm not with those guys, really. I'm my, I'm on, I'm my own guy. <laughs> yeah, the a couple of weeks ago, I killed a man's dad. You sound like the worst person. <laughs> Crook t- tells you that it is there is a powerful ancient um, magic in the gold grung that keep the community together, that keep the mushrooms growing, and without the, a gold grung, the land will become sick and will die. But she has one other way that she can try to jumpstart sort of the spawning season again, which may result in, <laughs> the, <key> to her <laughs> <laughs> in the birth of a new gold grung. What do you need, lady? You know I have powerful magics and I'm willing to do anything for money. Wonderful. Well, yes, that's very good. If you could just lie on this table. And she pulls out a stone knife. Ah, this looks like some sort of sacrifice. <laughs> Your second time in a week. Yeah. Ah, it's like every time I go away somewhere, you guys end up. I end up getting. No, sacrificed. no. This is on you. hundred percent. When you went away, your character was where you left you. Where where we left you, standing at the back of the party. Yeah. You've been playing for now twenty minutes, and now you're being human sacrificed. Mm-hmm. In an hour, but sure. <laughs> All right. So, if okay, I lie on the table. Well, you're tied up. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then they. I don't know why she asked then. I don't really have a choice in this. Now, this is a little bit uh, experimental, but please bear with me. And she, like, kind of starts drawing with, like, charcoal uh, an elaborate outline on your torso. So She rips open your cloak or whatever. Baker's outfit, presumably. Baker's outfit, I assume. uh, Chilton rags in the middle. And and starts drawing both both dotted lines and also runes around those dotted lines. Uh, is, is she the only person in the room? No, no, she, all of her acolytes are chanting around her. Uh, is there anyone in the room who is like a warrior or like a guard or anything? Or only this entire room is tended to by red-skinned um, magic user, Grung. Okay, so everyone's magic. No one's a fighter. Okay. Can what we I'm bust in? T- oh, mm? In a second, I just want to hear what, I want to hear what, where, where Hing's going with this. I'm gonna try and persuade her, and say, uh, and just, I, I was like, I, I, I'm, I'm interested in the magic of this. How does this spell work? Because if you're after magical power, there's something I can offer you that is better than me. Um, okay, make a persuasion check. Um, again, she saw you burn. That's a, is that a 19? Yeah. 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 All it right, is. persuasion. That's 20. That's 24. 20, All right, she holds the knife. 23. She holds the knife, and she just says, "Go on and make it quick." We are on the hunt for a, uh, a, a long-lost uh, magical item, which uh, w- I basically t- tell a bullshit story about... Um, no, go on. No, you can't just be like, blah, 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 kill right. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Recently on our travels, I met, a ma- I, I, I met a paladin who believes that he knows the source of the undead, and we are on our way to reclaim that source for our own and control it. Right, are you, 22. Are you, are you talking about the lost city of either Umu or Omu? <laughs> yes, but the whole... That, that yeah, entire, everybody knows about that. that. What, are you, what are you talking about? Pa- like, everybody knows about that. by a sword. And yeah, of course, yeah, of course. Like who, we, yes. Yeah, I grew up here. What do you... Yeah. So if we... Uh, we're, yeah, we're yeah, yeah wait, wait, wait to, like, um, chult explain this to a native. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. I I I, 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 I just want to say like what you are literally saying is like to me like it, uh, j- just to, to put it in terms saying like I know about the concept of gold. How nice would that be if you had some? That's All what right, you're saying I, to I me. Give, I give you the sacrifice then. Are you, g- are, you, are, you are you willing to be sacrificed? Fucking because do it because you're embarrassed. <laughs> well, what what I was trying to exp- oh, look. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm willing to be sacrificed because I'm embarrassed. Then. <laughs> Meanwhile, wow, that's a real Larry David. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you guys have made your way um, with weapon. Yep. I'm like the last place we saw Frizo before he disappeared was in the infirmary. Let's. I can't believe I'm saying this. Let's go back. 
All right. Yeah, we race towards the infirmary. Okay, so you guys make your way to the infirmary and you burst open the doors and there you see um, the priestess and uh, Frizo laid out on the table, lashed there with sort of vines and she's holding a... There are vines. S- <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> a stone dagger to his skin and is about... Halt! Yes? Um... What you doing? Uh, <laughs> sacrificing him. Sort of, a, sort of a death thing. Hey, uh... Crook, put us put a stop to this. Oh yeah, I, I I'm the king now, aren't I? I'm a little king. I'm a little king in a backpack. Phil nods encouragingly. Oh yeah. Um, hey, why are we not doing this? Um, he's our friend. Yeah, but why? <laughs> because I grab the frog and say, "Let Frizo go, or I'll squish your king." <gasps> Oh, I thought you guys were my friends! Exactly back where we started. <laughs> uh, make, a, make a contact poison saving throw. I'm going to be fine. I always pass rolls. Nine. No, all right. So you go. You get. Eleven. You, do you know what happens? It's what? You go. You get poisoned. And in that moment, in the sort of viscous gold grung slime, the frog slips out. And with tears in his eyes, he races towards Crook and scurries into her robes and disappears. Whoops. So oh, I'm so sorry. Um, and, and, no, and now Crook has had just about enough of this. And she, um, with the blade in one hand, points a gnarled finger at the three of you. You shouldn't have come here even by mistake. And she digs into Frizo's uh, chest. Yeah. Um, and you take seven points of damage, Frizo. Okay, I, I, once again, I try and fling a, ja- a javelin uh, at her and, and aim for her right between the eyes. Didn't you already throw your javelin? Yeah, but then I got it back. <laughs> no, you know, no. Well, no, somebody threw a javelin at me, so I took it out of me and kept that one. <laughs> I had one. I took note of the fact that I was wounded by a javelin, so right. I have one. All right. Hey, Dave. So, I, as a fighter, I can do an action surge, right? Yes, yes, you can. Okay, oh, wait. Sorry, Bobby. You anyway, so there are javelins on the ground, so I'm happy for you to pick one up. Fuck um, me. Yeah, no, you miss again. Um, action surge. Yep. Um, so, an action is like an attack is an action, right? It is, yeah. So, if I take an action, then I can do an extra attack, right? Yep. So, if I do an... But now, because I'm a level five fighter, I can do two attacks. <laughs> so, if I do an action surge, I can do four attack and just hack the shit out of all these fucking frogs. That's much more efficient than usual. <laughs> um, I suppose you can. All right, so it's your well, go. Well, they're hacking up Frizo's beautiful body. What are you using? You, what my you ha- sword. I got my sword. Oh, you do? You got everything back. So you actually also had yours. Here I go. I'm going to slash some frogs up. All right, make four attacks. This is what happens. We were just meant to leave. The adventure was over, you fools. Now I have to kill all the frogs. <laughs> That's a hit. The first one's a hit. The second one's a hit. <laughs> Uh, and th- I missed the other two. <laughs> All right, so you get two hits in D8. Odd. Um, yep, so that's D8, and they're plus three Five each, so seven. seven. So you get you do 18 points of damage. She staggers back under the blow, and it, her acolytes, into the line of her acolytes that were chanting behind her, and blood seeps through her robes, and the crimson of her robes becomes even darker. Next up is you, Filge. Um, Filge kneels down in front of Croc. And she says, I swear my allegiance to the tiny frog king. Okay, make an impossible DC check because you've betrayed him literally twice in 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't do that. I, I don't think do he that. cares at this point. Yeah, but I've got something else that I do when I do All right, that. what do you do? Um, I swipe. As I kneel, I swipe <laughs> Krog's feet so she falls down so he can escape from her. That's if what he, if wants. he would want to do that. If he likes. If he um, to do so, that. quickly make she an She might attack. fall on him. <laughs> Make an attack for me. This will be... Um, this is a trip attack. Uh, what else do I get to add to it? Your athletics, it so it's plus six. Woohoo! Uh, nine, ten... Oh, plus four, seven. Four, <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. All right, you do fifteen, and she does... Okay, no, so, yep, she falls and goes wild, and, yeah, you hear a bit of a squeak and a scream from the grung. Ah! Uh, who is hurt in the fall because no. she lands on her. Ow, my little shoulder. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, next up is you, Frieza. Um, I, I, can't, I, I can't cast anything, can I? Because I'm, ca- I'm tied down. Um, yes, that's right. And none of your friends have helped you yet. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. You can try and break out. Uh, the, yeah, I'll, do, I'll, 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 I'll quickly, try and acro- wiggle out. Make an acrobatics check for me. 
Uh, no. Um, no, 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 no. You're yeah. tied down too much. Yeah. So 13. the next up is our friend um, Crook, who on the ground, who's on the ground, who gets up, staggering, coughs blood and then reaches inside and pulls out the Grung who is also sort of bleeding and not looking very dead but looking hurt and upset yep and she looks accusatingly um, accusingly the, accusingly that's fine the, we'll move on at the four of you you see you see what happens when you leave she says to the little tiny little Grung does he respond that's fine <laughs> look the, we should go. Look, it's been a chill time, but <laughs> we've got it. We've got to go. Thanks for the hat. Um, <laughs> love you guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my beautiful elf friend, and we'll be on our way. <laughs> if you promise to never come back again, you have approximately 30 seconds to get out of my sight. Do any prizes for killing your king? You got nothing! <laughs> in fact, she makes a powerful curse and invokes the name of Nang Nang, the Grung's <laughs> goddess. That's it. Look it up. Okay, right. And, there, it is there. Um, and, like, nang, nang, nang. and a power. <laughs> you feel a shift um, in the world, and at that moment, you want nothing more than to leave this village, for you have become cursed in the sight of Nang Nang, and you are now for forbidden to stand on this soil. Uh, you have <laughs> received a curse that has not been made on anyone for many hundreds of years, so nice. you should feel proud about that. Um, you all of us are just like. No, all of you. All of you <laughs> especially you Bobby she says um, and realizing as the Grung have as I said been traitors for hundreds of years but you get the sense that they will no longer be accepting of humanoids that they are going this society will now turn inwards and hostile to all outsiders and you've destroyed a beautiful hub of trade in these wild forests that will never return and what was once these blessed lands shall become a place of darkness fear and suspicion and religious intolerance because what the dragon friends touch it seems sometimes just becomes a really nasty thing and this is why we can't have nice things i think you should all think about what you've done and maybe just maybe we might see some kind of improvement in the next level episode whatever of the dragon friends thank you <laughs> <laughs> okay we got to do it we got to do it uh, 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 oh! It's a beer this time! Was, was I wearing a jacket? I don't remember. I didn't have a drink the first time. You, were, you absolutely hey. were wearing a jacket. All right. Continuity. Uh, well, uh, what do you guys think about this uh, uh, tie and shirt don't, ensemble? Don't bring it upon yourself. I like, think I've got it this time. Uh, I, think, I think I'm bulletproof. I reckon stand up, give us a twirl. I will not do that. Stand up, stand up and give us a twirl. I've pooed stand myself. <laughs> Ben's been getting a lot of shit in the Twitch chat, um, yeah. addressing like um, a, a fun uncle, a, a fun, fun uncle, uncle, a member of the presets, but a bad one. Um, uh, <laughs> two, <laughs> boy, two boys, two boys <laughs> trying to sneak into a cinema. Yep. I think yeah. you look like an advertising copywriter with those jeans. That's nice. Is that good? No, oh. that's quite bad. Well, uh, I just want to kick things off with yeah. the bullying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're well, like. I think you look nice in polka dots. Alex just got married, by the way. Yay! Yeah. 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 Marriage has made a yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Marriage has made a me. We all, <laughs> we all showed up to the wedding except for, guess who? Ben. No, no, Ben no. was there. No, I was Sorry, you. Alex. No, <laughs> Alex is definitely <laughs> there. I was a runaway bride. Yeah, no, Hing, Hing was not there because he went to a music festival. <laughs> it's, it was so good, though. <laughs> <laughs> What did you do at the moment Alex was getting married? What were what you time, doing? What time did you get married? Uh, at 5 o'clock p.m. on the Saturday. No, nah, we'll have to... Never mind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, oh, on the Saturday, <laughs> I was probably on stage doing a comedy show there. Oh, there you go. We were both good. on stage doing a show. A comedy yeah. show of sorts. Uh, when, when Alex got married, she did a tight five. It was really good. Yeah. 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 Unnecessary. Very mean on the groom. Yeah. <laughs> and also kind of irrelevant. A lot of stuff about settling. What's the deal with settling? Yeah. <laughs> Let's <laughs> play. But it was very <laughs> funny. <laughs> That's my Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. 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 They're let all me, in there. Let's see if the spiel I wrote for where I thought you would be at the end of Act 1 will work. <laughs> you. The steely dungeons underneath Fort Balurin are... Fuck it. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, um, well, the, well, Dung Grung Lung burns behind you and a culture hundreds of years old um, is reduced to a 
shadow of what it once was. Four somewhat sheepish adventurers, their goblin called Weapon, and a historian who missed everything and doesn't understand why everyone's so down, <laughs> slightly embarrassedly make their way out of a thorny hedge maze. Point of order, I took a, a javelin on the way out. Uh, you have your weapons, yeah. but you also have, congratulations, yeah. a javelin to remember the time you killed a god. So, with a... No one really says very much as you make your way through with the maze. It's always easier on your way out than in. And soon you find yourselves in the jungle. The zombie T-Rex, of course, is long gone. And you are free to continue on your journey. And at this point, you remember the map that Sir Grimsby has. Oh! Open it up. Open it. Map. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open the map. Open it. Open you want it. me to open the map? Open, open, open it. The map. Open it. Open, map. It. open map. it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open the map. map. And he map. takes map. the map open out and he puts it. Uh, oh, again, this is a canister of sort of wire and yeah. crystal. Look, here's the thing about the map. We can't open it. What? what? Not now. Why? This is what's called a brother map. Uh, it's a brother canister. A uh, brother map in the brother canister. Do you see how the edges are torn? Elsewhere, there's going to be a sister map and a sister canister. And when you put those two together, well, yes, the canisters will open. But until uh, we find them, oh. it's just a cylinder. <laughs> Where's the sister map? Well, I happen to know that. Tell oh. us! Well, see, the thing is, there was a lot of sort of threat of murder earlier on. And that as he says, those threats yeah. continue right now. <laughs> Tell Absolutely. us where the sister canister is. <laughs> he's, as you see, he said this, he picks up the canister and he's putting it in his waistcoat. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought I took the canister back. Yeah, you're not, you're not carrying this. Uh, well, okie doke. See, here's the thing. Uh, in terms of the cards that you hold, the cards that I hold, I mean, sure, you could kill me right now, um, but what would happen then? I mean, honestly, what would happen then? You tell me. We'd you, feel you, great. Bobby, yeah, Bobby. you feel great for how long, Filge? Probably two you minutes know, there is the usual number. There are, <laughs> Sorry. There are things we can do to you that won't kill you that are unpleasant. Yeah, I, I don't doubt that, you psychopath. <laughs> All I'm saying is that we're currently in a situation where you need me a lot more than I need you. Uh, and keeping me alive and, and happy, I imagine, is probably your priority number one. You well, need us. Go then. But yeah, bye. Bye. See ya. See ya. Bye, bye. See ya. See <laughs> but we, but, 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 <laughs> we, t but we give them. <laughs> no, he had it in his waistcoat. No, but we have. Yeah, ha no, I have the map. I had the map. I you put it on the ground <laughs> so that he could see it, and then he picked it up, and now he has it. <laughs> uh, I put him in a headlock. <laughs> I've walked off. <laughs> No, no but he doesn't get very far because a <laughs> whistle. A, um, start again. <laughs> <laughs> we can't, we're just starting. There again. is a piercing whistle sound, um, and as you see, suddenly Grimsby stops, alarmed, and takes two steps back into the clearing that you're in, and pointing a rapier at him, bringing him forward. You see a dwarf, and that dwarf is wearing a kind of orange and black. Tunic, and in fact, I want you to make for me a uh, Frizo. Quickly make for me an intelligence check. Oop. Give me a d20. There's tons check. in the box. Uh, it's an 11 plus my intelligence of 1, 12. Okay. Um, yep, that's cool. That's enough. So you recognize a what is a very obvious livery. This is the livery of the Flaming Fist, which are a mercenary chapter of Baldur's Gate. Ah, now, Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate is one of the great trading nations of the Sword Coast. It is often a trading rival of Waterdeep. It's one of the other big cities that competes with the City of Splendors um, for influence in this region. Uh, Neverwinter would be the third that make up the Lord's Alliance. So you're all pretty familiar with Baldur's Gate. and what they called? Baldur's Gate? Baldur's Gate is the name of the city, and these mercenaries that often represent Baldur's Gate's inter interests are the Flaming Fist, and they have come to Chult as well. And as Grimsby is walked back into the room with his hands up, one of them holding the canister... Easy, easy. Now, I'm going to put this useless canister back in my backpack. But the moment he tries to do that, the mercenary takes it from him. The six other mercenaries come out from all sides so there are in fact seven of them and as they all take formation a dwarf with um, sort of pips on his shoulders and um, across his chest that suggests some kind of rank comes forward and he's got a big beard no hair and an eye patch are they all dwarves no only him 
Okay. Filch goes, hello. Hey, hello. Ah, just nice to see familiar faces. What do you... No, you hang know, on. I was, I was going to start talking and then you... St stop it. Our <laughs> neck of woods. Ne look, I was, gonna, game, I was going to walk in. Deep. Oh, <laughs> me <laughs> been seeing a lot of crazy <laughs> shit. Just nice And then he's like, can we start again? Can we try... From and then he like home. walks back into the <laughs> into the group. It's like, could you... And he pokes his head out from things. He's like, could you just not this time? Okay? Phil does a big thumbs up. Okay. And then he like kind of disappears between two people. <laughs> And then he'll kind of like... Swaggers out. Swagger. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have here? Phil, you guys. Yeah, that's how I like to start when I meet people. <laughs> really good, really <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, it's like a nice power play. Hey, some adventurers. Do we have? Do we have a, uh, a fighter? I am Baston Androvich. Yeah. Do we have a wizard? Yeah, it's you, you, you idiot. That me, yes. <laughs> a sort of wizard. Yeah. Do, we, do we have a warlock? And we have a little halfling. And we have a little gribbit. Hello, gribbit. <laughs> <laughs> you know gribbit? Wait, wait, yeah, you two know each other. <laughs> okay. Uh, gribbit's good to see you. Oh, yeah, hi. <laughs> anyway, we like go way back. We played um, cricket together. <laughs> <laughs> Gri gribbit gets around. He was, of course, at Chult long, longer than you were. Um, so, yeah, yeah. He, he asks you, what, what business do you have east of the Mist Cliffs? I assume that you have your uh, papers. Uh, we are very lost. <laughs> I should say so. Hey, look at all the swords that are pointed at you. I'd say you're very lost. <laughs> and with that, he clicks his fingers and another Baldur's Gate Flaming Fist mercenary arrives and he has a piece of leather on which is etched a crude, very crude map. Drawing of a naked woman. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. You can look at her bosoms. Um, look at their bosoms. A crude. <laughs> and look at their bum. <laughs> look at their bosoms and bum. <laughs> and he turns it around. He turns it around. And on the other side is, <laughs> is a crude map of Chult. But there, are, there is nothing, like even the map that um, was given to you by Channel Smith, this is not a map for navigation. This is a map for imperialism. It has been cut into pieces and... The line um, that cro that the Atas Rakeen wound its way around is an area called the Mist Cliffs, and everything east of the Mist Cliffs is land claimed by Baldur's Gate. Do you know where you are? Can you point to the map where you are? Like when you're at a shopping center, like there's an X. You are here. Where <laughs> the X? Yeah, no, I'm just saying, like, can you I guess can, where you're... I can't you're, see you're it. You're in Baldur's Gate territory is what I'm saying. We oh. can't even see X out here. No, look at the... Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to do this again. <laughs> I'm going to... And then he backs back out. <laughs> well, well, one <laughs> hour later. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like, that's a bar. <laughs> <laughs> one hour, 20 minutes later. <laughs> so these two frogs were sucking each other off. Sucking each other. Are you drawing this? Are you <laughs> later that night... <laughs> Anyway, so he's like our drawer. He draws all the erotic things you can think of. No, the frog was taller. No, yeah. the, the one yeah. standing up was taller. Damn. Two <laughs> days later. <laughs> hey, His dick was real weird. Was anyway, my point is... we're all friends. <laughs> <laughs> my point is, I guess you uh, like have some papers because you're in Baldur's Gate territory and you need to like have... Um, A charter of exploration. Yeah. So, like, give us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> give us. Um, uh, how much do these papers cost? Yeah, like... <laughs> look, that... If, if, if we're talking about, like, you try and buy papers now, yeah. that ship has sailed long ago. Where are the papers? We, we left them at a frog house. house. <laughs> frog house. Okay, like, a lot of what you just said, like, makes no sense. I, I know, it was But a that's cool, because what we're going to do, because we've, like, bonded for, like, two days and you've seen, like, my um, deviant art <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, like, been really, like, non-judgmental <laughs> about it and given me some good notes is that um, we're going to go to camp and we can get it all sorted out there. Great. How yeah. many of them are there? There are eight of them. How many of us are there? Um, there are There's four of four you plus, plus a weapon. Um, yeah. And Grimsby. And yeah, Grimsby. And so that's six. So, but they, well, well, but they, they by the way, just so you're aware, these mercenaries are like heavily armed. Right. So and what creatures are they? Sorry? What creatures? Um, no, there's eight of them. Actually, well, you've now been with them for two days, so I guess... What yeah. are their names? <laughs> <laughs> so there's okay, so I'm Reagan, obviously, like you know. Uh, Daniel is our um, erotic etcher. <laughs> 
Uh, his name Errol is, is the cook. Sorry? I his name is Nathan. No, no, it's Daniel. Daniel. There's Errol who he does cook. He does nice spast rice. <laughs> 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 this, this, one, this one is Driscoll. He looks after our raptors. Sometimes we ride raptors, and it's true. They have like Dionychuses that oh. they ride. Oh, yeah. oh, that's cool. Yeah, uh, this is uh, Paddis. His name is Paddis. Um, he he like didn't want to sign up. <laughs> yeah, he like got conscripted. <laughs> Um, he's like a real droopy draws <laughs> all the time. He's like, oh no, I don't want to be here. I you know? can hear what you are saying. <laughs> yeah, bad. It's like I know you can. I don't care. Oh. <laughs> uh, and then there's like the rest. All right. Uh, the yeah. Re- the rest is but terrible. what creatures are they? One of them's a dwarf. One of them's a dwarf. The rest are Radiant. humans. And okay. there, and uh, there are four humans, knights. Yuck. And there are four just sort of. Um, sort of man at arm mercenaries. And they all have and that accent, do they? Yes. Uh, some of them do. No, so no, actually, each of them has a stranger accent than the last. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, just asking for continuity. They're, they're, like they're, what Eden said then. They're, they're, all, at, they're all. At, least, that is, that at is, least David and. That is the boldest gate accent. That's sorry, right. at, least, at least Paris and, yeah. um, and Reagan. Reagan have that accent. Yeah. That's okay. that, that is okay. the. You, you recognize the sounds, the harsh consonants, and the bad, inconsistent accents. Almost sort of r- like y- it suggests they might be racist. racist? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Or care a lot about blood diamonds. Sports with them, Does this mean that Bushu is from Baldur's Gate? Well, that's what no. I was going to. I was going to summon Bushu and get him to. But no, it's fine. All right, so. Um, you can't do magic, can you? No, you, yeah, he can. What uh, do you mean? Um, no, you, you can, he's got a spell book, he can do magic. Um, so. Is that. You're thinking yeah. of Shadowrun. I am thinking of Shadowrun. That's fine. So with, so they um, are ta- they offered to take you to camp, and let's say for those two days that you enjoyed erotic art and sort of tales at the camp, and told them all about that time you saw two frogs <laughs> fuck. Um, uh, suck each sucking each other, other off. off. <laughs> Fucking and sucking are different, Dave. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. Yeah. Um, Time and a place. Yeah, over those two days, would I have had opportunity to um, get? Uh, hey, what's happened to the map? Um, your map or the our, uh, our map, the brother map. Who the cylinder? Yeah, he's keep, Reagan's keeping it for safekeeping okay, right. while Just you're being safe questioned. Just for because I can't have you exploring and getting treasures okay. without um, a permit, you know. And, and uh, I don't want to be the bad guy <laughs> in uh, many ways. But he seems like he enjoys being the bad guy. I do a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so two days later, and they they are pretty good to you actually. They um, feed you because you have no food um, and they sort of look after you but they don't let you leave their sight and in fact they keep watch around you at night time and they don't give the map back and after two days you find yourselves walking back towards the mist cliffs as the jungles clear. Now these are, this is much further up stream of the Atars Rakim, you cross downstream across the Laughing Monkey Bridge, but this is upstream and these cliffs as you start to ascend up into them uh, a kind of stinking um, improbably humid mist uh, it seems like it goes hot, 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 cold very, very quickly. And this is what gives the Mist Cliffs their names, of course. And cut into the side of the Mist Cliffs you see an ancient uh, fort in a very uh, West Sword Coastian style uh, with the harsh architecture of Baldur's Gate. And this is Fort Balurian, a structure that has stood since before the Spell Plague, one of the first um, continental structures on Chult, uh, rich with history, and I'm sure you're going to find some way to just burn it to the ground <laughs> for the end. I don't know why I do this, but that's where we are. Look, I'm sorry, I'm still angry about. But before. it's made of stone, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so this is like Fort Bulluri, and like have have like a nice time, like look around. It'd be difficult um, to burn. Do we have our weapons with us still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, yep, they've okay. allowed you to keep your weapons. Cool. Um, uh, they they're not that scared of you. Um, there is like a um a sort of armory over there if you want to like try to like barter and and, and bar things. Uh, there is uh, a market general um over there. There's a theatre, uh, where we put on like little plays um just for fun. Um, there's a pool <laughs> <laughs> over there. Um, it's bit chilly this time of year. When did he become a tourist advice bureau? <laughs> um, what kind of stuff do they have at the markets? Uh, you know, just like gourds, like bit like any curios, uh, magical yeah, items. Yeah, there's a guy called um, uh, Lockwood, and um, he has all sorts of like crazy stuff that I don't know. He comes back and he's like, "Oh look, I've got the magic beetle," and we're like, "Okay, Lockwood, you know." Okay. <laughs> I'd like to go to that store. Oh, he says, "Oh, you would, would you?" Well, first of all, if you want to do anything here, you have to have your papers. So you need to come and meet with our commander. Yeah. Okay. And he takes you up into the garrison. And at the garrison at the top of Fort Balurian, you see a long table where they sometimes hold feasts for dignitaries. There are 
pin um, flags alternating along the sides, um, representing Baldur's Gate and the rich history of the Flaming Fist chapter of mercenaries. And sitting at a table on a sort of raised platform at the back of the room, filling out what seems to be paperwork, just sort of uh, making notes in a giant ledger book with a scratchy quill, is a woman in a starched collar and the physical presence and bearing of a veteran of a thousand campaigns, a high officer in the Flaming Fist. Is she also from Baldur's Gate? She is, and as soon as Reagan and his guards arrive, they snap off impressive salutes that are both cocky and well-drilled, and she doesn't even look up for a second as she finishes writing what she was writing. A minute passes, and then she addresses you, her eyes still on the book. Uh, Reagan, you may go. You may go now. Thank you very much. Uh, hello. Welcome to the camp. Uh, now, I assume you're here because you don't have papers. What a drag, right? What a drag that you don't have papers. Yeah, no, we don't. We yeah. lost them. We, yeah, we lost them. Do you know, if it was up to me, I would just say, go, go explore, you know? Go explore and, and take riches and, and plunder and do whatever, but it's not up to me, you know? So um, I'm going to need you to either get papers um, or sort of get in prison, you know? That's how... Um, Sort of the where can we get papers? Can I have one? Well, sort of in the past, I suppose. <laughs> but you've got so many. And actually, she does. She pulls out from underneath the table a folio of what seems to be um, already pre-sealed and signed charters of exploration. You know, I suppose I do. I have a lot of them here. They're ours. No, they're not. What? What? They're they're ours. They're, what? they're ones. Okay, like you. Who are you? Uh, Filch. <laughs> uh, hello. Hello. I'm like Laria, that's my name. Laria. 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 Pretty. Laria. Uh, I think Filch is really pretty too. Oh, thank you. I like your hair. It, it's good. It's super like messy. <laughs> and like really... Um, just You said you liked it just now. So. Yeah, it's like an egg. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Like a neg. Oh, can, oh, f- can Filch do no, a neg? No, 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 not like an egg. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, what hair. world do you it's live in? No, hair is like an egg. Like an egg. You yeah, laughed, yeah. Hing. You laughed when he said that. Yeah, that's eggs what, are funny. That's what you thought he said. I thought he was. I thought it was like a. a f- anyway, look, did cool. you think that was a good joke? No, that was terrible. <laughs> well, that's sad. I thought it was just a funny thing for someone to say. Uh, by the way, Dev, I've misread my character name. I've it's said it's Laria. Yeah, I know, I was too polite. It's, it's Liara, Liara, but it's Laria now. It's mm. Laria. Laria uh, is her nickname. Can it's a pretty name for a uh, ugly lady. No, 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 she no, doesn't no, like that. She yeah, stopped right. smiling. Oh. Me do an egg. <laughs> 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 Me did an egg. Yeah, okay, look like, egg. I'll be honest with you. I like at least some of you here. Um, and this camp is like, Going really, really well, and I'm, 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 I'm swamped. Mm. You know, um, where have you guys been? Like, what have you guys been doing? What, what is your skill set? If you could like give me a sentence about what you guys are good at. Very uh, handsome. Okay, mm. I can see this. King murder. Excuse me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> me said uh, watercolors. Eh, uh, nice. Uh, dancing. Eh, hey, that's like useless. Put that. <laughs> I'm, ra- I'm, writing it, I'm writing it down. Ooh, dancing. Yeah, you can tell she's not writing anything. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I bake them in, bake them in sourdough. Okay, great. I heard like one of you say like murder nah. before. No. Nah. Are you nah. sure? Because that's sort of the kind of area. Listen, that I know what you want. Yes, I will give you bodily pleasure <laughs> in exchange for the passes. Okay, I'm, I'm going to How many guards are there, Dave? We can do it right here. I so don't I'm mind. Like, so here's the thing. I've written all of your names down. Yes. Um, I've got Baston and I've got um, Freezer. I've got Field. Hello. Hello. Um, and I've got um, Bobby and uh, the, the dirty one. That's Gribbits. Good. Oh, hey, Gribbits. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> He's on my netball team. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of social sports. <laughs> Um, Baldur's Gate, it's important to be healthy. And um, who's the uh, the one that isn't going to speak for a bit? <laughs> <laughs> that Grimsby, he a drag. Uh, okay, so what I've done right now is I've written down your names and I'm putting an X next to every time you're really rude. <laughs> so best on, uh, you've got an X. Is that a kiss? It's like How many kisses Phil have? 
Field, you have one kiss. Mwah. Shall I just cut to the chase? Please. Usually best. <laughs> Look, I assume that uh, you didn't come to Chult um, just as like uh, spice merchants. <laughs> I have some pirates that need killing. Some what? Pirates. Parrots? No, pa- no. <laughs> I've actually made this mistake before. <laughs> it ended in a great many dead birds. <laughs> I have some pirates that need killing. And um, you seem like the, again, I'm just I, the seafaring people. <laughs> oh, like a ship captain. Sure, yeah. Mm. Yeah. And uh, if you take care of my pirate problem, um, then. A pirate! <laughs> I thought you were saying pilot. Sorry. Okay, you get next. I'm putting a next oh, down. Oh, kiss, kiss, kiss. Okay, I, I walk up to the table and I sort of, uh, like, as, like I'm approaching the bench of like a, in a courtroom. Yeah, you may approach. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Um, listen. We sort out your problem. We get the paperwork. We're free to go on our way. Is that yeah. the... Let me tell you something because I think you're the smart one. This here... And she holds up like a paper. Yeah. It's like, this here is a permit to go on your way and uh, explore the riches of this uh, Baldur's Gate territory. But you know what? You get, you have to send back half to Baldur's Gate. Now this here, this here is a permit to do whatever you want and you don't have to send back anything. And if you take care of my pirate problem, I'm happy to give all of you this one. Now are the pirates at sea or are they in... Port. On land, in, in port. Right now, the pirates are in port, which is a good place to attack pirates. Which uh, which port are they at? The one down the road. Oh, so it's in in, in the Baldur's Gate camp. Oh, so, so, she, w- no, so she goes on to explain. So the you she, this is on as I said the Miss Cliffs, which is near the coast, the kind of um, northernmost coast of Chult, uh, though f- a bit of, away from Port Nianzara where you arrived, and pirates are a problem in Chult. This is something that you guys have already heard but they have increasingly become a problem and it is they seem to be working together for the first time, which suggests that a pact has been made and that a pirate king has been crowned. This is a big problem for the entire Lord's Alliance. So, um, Liara Porter, commander of Fort Belurian, has been charged with dealing with the pirates. And it's not just for me. You know, it's for everybody trying to make an honest living and having these pirates come in and go, eh, give me that, you know? Like, I'm just saying, like, for example, they might say, give me that, you know, and you don't want that. Quick dragon huddle. Um, as I see it, we have very little choice. Um, so, uh... You don't have to twist my arm. Let's go right. murder yeah, some pilots. We're on a <laughs> jag. Let's let's murder more kings. Um, All right. We should get our cylinder back, though. Yes. Uh, we, we, we're also going to need... Uh, armaments, if you can supply them. How many yeah. pirates do you need us to kill? She tells you that there is. You want to bring you back skulls or ears? What's the trophy system here? <laughs> what for do the we past do? Fingers? Few, her scouts for the past few weeks have identified a particular pirate ship, and this is a hard thing to do because, of course, the pirates are famous for flying under different colours. Their flags mm, are very meaningless. But there is a ship of dark oak timbers that has a strange sort of um, lilt in its gait, a three master, which is surprisingly fast, and it is believed by her spies um, that this ship is the scout for the pirate's fleet. And it's the ship that is able to find out um, when ships are entering the narrow um, Uh. entrances to the rocks around um, that make access to Chult and Port Nianzaro and then get word to the other pirates in time to intercept them. This is a real black pearl of a ship. I'm not familiar with that reference. Yeah, I don't know what that means. But like, what I'm saying is like, it's not the most strong ship. It's not the most heavily fortified ship. But I feel like it's like a very important ship. Mm. Yeah, All right. yeah we do this. We we'll do we'll this we'll for we'll you. We will we'll do this under c- some conditions. Okay, name them. Uh, we would like number one the permits you've already said. That's given. That's the bare minimum we're going to do this for. All right. Yeah, I mean, like, I just I'm not going to take it off the table. Yep. Number two, I want to be able to keep an ear out of it from every pirate I kill. I was not going to like limit. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No. I just want. I just want you to know that I'm working on an ear system, not a finger system, in terms of trophies. All right. Okay. Like I didn't. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Number sure. three. Reagan's coming with us. What? what? Reagan's coming with us. The the dwarf one. Yes. Reagan's like who was just standing at the back of the room. Is like what? I'm I'm not go- I'm not going to do that. Yeah. I've got done. Says Liara and clicks her fingers. I, I've I've got <laughs> basketball tonight. 
Uh, hey, Grimace, we got basketball tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Grimace is sub. Uh, Four. We want our map. And we want our map. That Reagan is, yeah. is currently holding. What's Hang on. Five. Like, no, we no, want no, an what, army. What, what map, she says. And with that, Reagan pulls out the canister and puts it on the table. <sighs> and she looks at it. Well, that's awful curious that you have this map. It's Reagan's map. Where did you get a map such as this? I don't remember. Uh, Does anyone remember? I this genuinely is, don't remember. This is a <laughs> tourist gift uh, that I bought in the ports of Chult for my ailing aunt. Oh, that's she nice. That's curious. nice for your ailing aunt. And did you think to put it in like a pre-spell play canister for her too? Is that what that is? In it her favourite like type of canister. <laughs> <laughs> Liara thinks a bit and and says. See, that looks to me like a sister map. Yeah. And she says, not only... Uh, it a brother map. Will I mean... I not, she says to you, not... Maybe it is. Which one is it? Sibling map. <laughs> not only will I give you this canister Which back. voice are you doing now? I'm trying to do hers, but I'm also not no, really... No, it's like, it's like this. You've got to talk. You've got to talk. Got to, you've like got this. To do oh, like this. Yeah. Like not this. only. All right. Not can, only. Do it, it's no, give me back my blood diamond. Yeah, yeah. say yeah. that. Yeah. Like yeah. Back, that. Give me give back, back, back my blood diamond. diamond. Yeah, I see it. Look, I'm from South Africa. It's not even yours. Give it back. Yes. Um, not only will I give this back to you. I go, it does like your blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's getting that way, isn't it? This is why he does it. But, but I will, I will tell you where you can find its brother. Oh! <laughs> Did I say the map was the brother or the sister? No, no, brother. Ours is the brother. The brother. Ours is the brother. It's in. It's in ours is the brother. They're, yeah. they're not innies and outies, mate. It's entirely. I know. I just want to get some consistency. It's a, it's a, it's but it's one got a sticky out bit and no, one has a bit that the bit goes in. You don't know. They're, they're not siblings, so that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't like make it weird. Where the sister map? Yeah, this is not ah, a sister map. Yeah, yeah. She, sister map. she waggles her finger. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do for you. Mm. <laughs> because, Your voice just changed. Because I think I think that you um need a bit of inspiration. I'm going to keep the permits here, and you don't get them until you come back and having done it. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to give you the map now. All right. Now if, you, now, if you come back and have done what I've said, and um, Reagan, you're going to miss basketball tonight because you're going to go with them and, and confirm, I will not only give you uh, the map. No, you have the map. I will not only give you the permits, but I will tell you where its sister is. Why don't you give uh, permits yes, to agreed. Reagan? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it now. All right. Final question like, Reagan, that will be all. And she looks down and starts writing well, again. So, so we just have to find the ship, or and do we kill have to the, ship. Kill the ship? No, yeah. Reagan knows where it is. He'll tell you. All find right. the ship. Kill everybody on board. Goodbye. No. Okay. Final question. How many pirates do you want me to kill? So give me a number. I literally said everybody on board. Okay. Just Rain give me a check. Just on give me. The a, just give me. Give me a goal to make to, to, to head towards. Okay. Here's your goal. Uh, everybody on board. All right. All right, so, so did you want to sleep with me or maybe next time? Okay, I'm putting another X there and um, you don't know what I'm counting to. It could be two. <laughs> <laughs> Reagan leads you out and he leads you straight through um, into the central um, area of this Motten Bailey that makes up Fort Belurian um, outside the garrison stoned building. Uh, as you can see, so that there are blacksmiths, there is a, the marketplace, there are the raptor pens. And he says, meet me here in two hours when I, we, I will have a cutter ready for us. Uh, the ship is meant to be docking just outside Port, Port Nianzaru at low tide tonight at the 11th bell, but we do not know for how long. And with that, he is gone. Yeah. So you do have free run in the market uh, now. Free time. Okay, can I go to the, um, that odds and ends store? Lockwoods, yeah, you can yeah. go to Lockwoods. Uh, what are you doing, Phil? I want to go to the Raptor Pen. You can go to the Raptor Pen. Um, Freezer? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go with Bobby. Yep, great. All right. And Baston? I'll go with Filch. Okay, cool. So, easy. So, it, Lockwoods is a small frontier outpost. Uh, it looks like it mostly sells just sort of simple frontier tools, um, sort of bedpans, bedrolls, uh, tents, bandages. You see more of the insect repellent that you guys now all recognize by sight. The prices are pretty expensive because this is quite far out from civilization. But Lockwood himself is a charming man who seems, if anything, out of place in this rugged life. You will come. You will come to me, ship. He had a stroke recently. <laughs> Mr. Lockwood, uh, my name is Bobby Pancakes. Pleased to make your acquaintance. This is my friend Freezer the Warlock. Hello. Delighted. What? Delighted. Now, I heard tale that sometimes you'll want to bring back some sort of magic bug to your store. 
Uh, do you have any sort of such items? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, of course, I've sometimes such things wash up on the shores of my fine store, for sure, yes. But uh, <laughs> no, can I not tempt you with this lovely snuff box or this fine candelabra? Much, much more entry level for the likes of you. <laughs> I think you'll find that we're connoisseurs of magical items. Well, and then he looks around and um, do, do you have... Yep. Yep, great. <laughs> and um, he uh, pushes a button under the... <laughs> under the... Um, okay, and the desk. <laughs> desk. Yeah, and his entire wooden desk improbably flips over. Is that what you wanted? Yep. And then he's like, I wish it wouldn't do that. <laughs> and everything's All thrown All the stuff up. falls on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> anyway, it's out here. <laughs> he walks <them> back. <laughs> Inside the back room. <laughs> There are uh, lots of crates and sort of netted fruits, but he walks right past and then um, taps until he finds a hollow plank and he opens it up and underneath that, wrapped in cloth, is a box and that box he brings up onto the table. Well, 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 here we are. This is only the finest and he unlatches the box. Yep, and he opens it up and inside there are three items, one of which is a potion, which you now recognize of healing. These are, you've seen these, this is a low level magic. There is also a scroll, which is bound in wax. And then the other thing is another potion. This one is a red hue. Up to you, but um, <laughs> I must say, only one per person. Uh, I will take a uh, freezer and quite about the scroll. Uh, he, yeah, so it has a sigil on it, and it is a, it's Warlock Magic, and it is a spell um, uh, called uh, Fly. This is the Fly spell. I will purchase <laughs> the scroll. That would be 100 gold pieces. I give him 100 gold pieces. From where? <laughs> I have 100 gold pieces. No, you don't. Um, <laughs> um, what's this uh, red potion you've got here? Is, uh, this is a, a potion of spider climb. It's a potion that will allow someone to climb as if they were walking or running. Ah, how much is this? Fifty gold. This is fifty gold pieces. This is but fifty gold pieces. I have fifty gold pieces from uh, Grimsby's uh, money pouch. You do. Uh, so I'll, I'll buy that. All right. You buy yourself a potion of spider climbing, spending ha- the entirety of the gold that the party currently has. Oh. Meanwhile, at the raptor pens, um, this is interesting. So the raptors, um, which are actually Dionychus, are being tended by a figure you haven't seen before because um, Chris Pratt, by her sort of <laughs> her sleek pelt and face, you sort of recognise this is a kind of cat person with a sort of feline <gasps> snout, curved ears um, that are bejeweled with rings, uh, with a, also a ring at the end of her snout and a small chain that connects them, and she's dressed in. Every shade of blue, sort of silks that have been dyed into about 15 different shades. Every that shade. That make them s- that make their way also into a kind of brilliant green on one sleeve. And her sleeves are sort of long like kimonos, um, but short, but like long when I mean down here. But they actually only go to about halfway through, so she has range of motion. And on the other side, into kind of a beautiful pattern of a sun. Um, this is a figure that you might, no, none of you would recognize except Sir Grimsby. Oh, yes, I know this. This is... One moment. <laughs> this is Tabaxi. What that? Well, it's an interesting story, actually. And then he passes out. <laughs> <laughs> he goes on to tell you, the Tabaxi are another native intelligent race in Chult. And only Chult. These are cat people. They live in very small family clades and wander through. Just in a sunbeam. <laughs> in the forest. Um, and they are some of the best guides and trackers and druids in this land. Ooh. Enormously proud and difficult to... Um, Pat. Pat. <laughs> <laughs> if they show you their tummy, it's a trap. <laughs> um, Even if they're like, Boo! and you're like, no, and they're like, Boo! <laughs> so what's this tabaxi doing? Uh, she's actually at the moment feeding the raptors. She's got a sort of a pail of chunks of raw meat, and she's tossing them to the raptors. Ooh, can I throw them some meat? Uh, yep. Yeah. Let me let me give you a hand, and Baston takes a piece of meat and throws it in. She puts um, she puts his arm behind his body <laughs> and like in a kind of like no claws, no claws. Yeah, so she she quickly grabs at you, Baston, um, quickly make it a posed uh, ac- acrobatics check for me. Yeah, I'm an acrobat. 
I don't know which one it was. It was an 11. So you you actually get away um, really quickly and sort of soon turn and you're facing her face to face. Is her fur soft? It's actually in hackling at the moment. Oh. You would do wisely to fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> I run and hide behind Filch. And look. Filch is elsewhere. No, no, oh, wait, I'm with Filch. Yeah, we're at the oh, yeah, Sorry, wait, I am Filch. Yeah, Filch yeah. is here. Uh, Filch goes, hey, kitty. That, no. <laughs> Hello, kitty. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Good afternoon. What do you oh. require of me? We're super interested this is in... This I like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is good. We're super interested in your dinosaurs. You do dino rides? We're Di- killing time. Dino rides? You want dino rides? As if this was a, 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 a horseling? Is it not? Yes, we do dino rides. <laughs> <laughs> 25 gold pieces. Uh, 25 silver pieces. Dino rides aren't that hard. Sure, 25 silver pieces. Would you accept? And then she gives her a big wink and then says quite loudly, some drugs! <laughs> and then she's like, hush! And then brings her in. He's like, what kind of drugs do you speak of? Frog drugs. Frog dr- me got pipe, me got a handful of... Yeah, you have, you have, an, in, you have an entire sheet of mushroom powder. So mushroom powder. About 12 tabs. Ooh, so how tabs. about you, me, uh, light up and see where the, the, the day takes us? Phil has never done drugs before, so Be- she doesn't know any of the cool that phrases. That shit'll fuck you up. <laughs> Look, I mean, we, we, we could trade a portion of the sheet, of course, and with change, uh, yes. But um, not here. Where? Over there. <laughs> <laughs> we go over there. <laughs> it's literally just three <laughs> steps to the left. <laughs> <laughs> um, I take... I, All right, I what's like- your price? How much of the sheet? Hmm? Oh, we're just doing this for dino rides. This is like a barter situation. Yeah, we just want to ride the dinosaurs. You, you want to just ride? How, wait, how much a dinosaur for keeps? The sheet that you have? Well, we need to talk about the portion of the sheet, sure. Wait, me can, how many dinosaurs <laughs> me can buy with this sheet? Oh, so, oh, so, <laughs> no, of course, uh, one dino ride for, let's say, half the sheet. Make a, quickly make for me an insight check. <laughs> oh, no. It, no, no, it's a pretty, it's a pretty easy check. Is it intelligence? Because the tabaxi was caught a little by surprise. Uh, I'll say DC eight. All right, so you, Woo-hoo. you get the sense that she's a bad bluffer and that the sheet that you had is worth more than you thought it was. Let's go see if we can... Dragon huddle. Let's go. No, hang on. You're what? not there. You're not there. Oh, we oh no, so three feet. Dragon, to the left. Yeah, yeah. We shuffle three feet. <laughs> yeah. back. Yeah. One sec. Maybe we should like try and sell the drugs. I mean, obviously keep some, <laughs> but uh, trade them for gold. I mean, she seems like she's a cat, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> so. How many di- if she was like a dog woman, I'd be like, we can trust her. Mm. But she's a cat, you know? So, like, you want a dinosaur? Me want a dinosaur. Me bet Bobby want a dinosaur. <laughs> Me don't want Frieza to have one. Let's get three. Are we going to ride the dinosaurs to the harbor so we can kill the pirates? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Back hey. To, you get three, <laughs> three steps <laughs> over? I shuffle through. I'm like, hey, sister. Me going to give you... Uh, one, what, uh, one, what's a cool drug word, hing? Tab? <laughs> yeah, hing. Dose. Yeah, like a tab or a Me, cap. Yeah, a, a, cap? Ca- a tab for the tabby. And you're going to give us three dinosaurs. To, to ride? Yes, to ride. <laughs> She goes, here, this is what's going to happen. You give me six tabs, half your sheet, and I will give you one Dionychus. To keep. No, we want three just to ride. <laughs> what, for the same price? For the s- yeah, let for the same price. Sorry, <laughs> let, 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 wait, let, let, that's a great deal. You should take we it. We could get two dinosaurs for the whole sheet. Phil knows what she's doing. <laughs> How many doses are in the sheet? Twelve? Is it a dozen? Yeah, twelve. Dragon huddle. I pulled Basil, I'm like, 
It's like we're going to take it for a test drive, but then we're not returning the car. Oh, yes. We will take them just for borrowing and to return them. I tear off half and um, I give it to her. And then um, I select the three strongest looking dino Hang micuses. On. Do you know you've been huddling a lot? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think yeah, this is now going into the... Um, so you're going to need to make for me a deception check. And it's going to need to be meet DC... 15, because these are quite expensive and she would be in a lot of trouble if she sold them for drugs. <laughs> oh, um, hey, why don't you do it, Buster? You rolled a four. Yeah, so I got a four. What am I trying to do? Here is what is going to happen. There are two options from here. One is that I ring this tiny little bell. It's really small. And this little bell is connected to a bigger bell over there with a bigger bell over there, a bigger bell over there. Anyway, it calls... Uh, the mercenaries and they come and arrest you for possession of drugs or you give me the entire sheet and you walk away with two dinosaurs how many dinosaurs can two three no but how many two how many could we both fit on one dinosaur uh no. she <gasps> could barely fit on one you can fit on one Oh, no, okay. to be honest, these these are Dionychuses, so um, oh, Bob, Bobby could fit on one very easily. Frizo could fit on one at a pinch. You could probably couldn't fit on one. You probably but you could pat it all you like. You could pat it. Um, Can they? Do they do stuff? Do they attack and stuff? They, these are tamed. They have bridles, and they actually also have saddles for some of the dwarves and halflings and gnome mercenaries. They're actually very affectionate. I don't know if that's the truth. <laughs> and she <laughs> she reaches up to the bell. Um, I bat. I bat her hand away. And, and she goes like... Mmm. <laughs> and I kind of give her the sheet of drugs. Didn't even get to have any drugs. <laughs> I give it she to her. She tears up a tab for you. And I, I keep it. Um, and it's I go, very rude. Fine. And then I, um, I take three dinosaurs and then run away really quickly. <laughs> I oh. get on a dinosaur. It's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get me bad accounting, sorry, and I run away, no. like holding them. They're they're following behind me. No, they're inside a pen. So I've opened the gate. Yeah, all right, all right. that's why right. you, you can just never come back to this place <laughs> ever. Yeah. All right, so you take <laughs> <laughs> sheer force of will. Yeah. Make, <laughs> make for me. I'm like one, two, and then I grab two in the all second right. the one. The bell starts to ring as you run away. Um, and then it gets, it's, it's a little ding a ling and then, then it gets bigger louder. and louder and louder and louder. Um, but you you sort of make your way away and quickly make a deception, um, a dexterity roll for me. Um, 16. Okay, you make your way into the crowd. Um, as you uh, Basically, your time is up, and at this point, you guys have to meet now with Reagan. Um, and you're locked inside the Mountain Bailey, so you can't really leave this area. Yep. All right, so you arrive, and Reagan is looking panicked because apparently there's a thief loose in the market. Uh, did you hear? Like somebody just, oh, hello. hello. <laughs> like, why do you have three dinosaurs? Oh, me paid for them legitimately. Like with what currency? Like with what currency? Oh, cat food. Uh, okay, like, look, we need to go to this ship now. Frizo, uh, Bobby, you arrive too. Hey, guys. Oh, cool dinosaurs. Uh, I get on one of the dinosaurs. Okay, uh, you ride it. You guys ride it. So you guys, as I said, are standing at the docks and you ride your dinosaurs yep. about 10 feet down the docks. Yep. Yep. Does and it feel then, good? And then, yeah, I've, I've, I bet I look cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you look cool. I ride both the dinosaurs because I know one can't carry me, so... Um, they are so unhappy. <laughs> They're like... <laughs> how do you, I'm them how are you doing physically doing that? Straddling them. Like I've, I've, I've like got side an aroma. I've tied it to, to, to both of their saddles together. Yeah, all right. And I'm straddling okay, like you shouldn't be... Uh, okay, yeah, no, there no, she no, goes. Fuck it, I don't and I'm like, She's this one dinosaurs. name is Sherbet. This one name is Cherry Cola. All right. Okay. Um, and so you guys ride to the end, and then you see a low sloop built for speed, a sort of smuggler's vessel, and it has been tarped <laughs> down, um, and it is not flying any colours, and it's, so it's obviously it's a dark vessel for sort of covert operations, and dressed all in black is Reagan and 12 sort of a mercenary sea hands who obviously look like they're in charge of the ships. Yeah, and these are all my best friends. <laughs> they are like all god children, god my godchildren call them their godsons, and they're all one day from retirement. <laughs> I love them so much. And Lockwood <laughs> throws each of you. Lockwood? Oh, sorry, no, 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 Reagan. Uh, Lockwood's there. He's one of them. Oh, <laughs> uh, what did he sound like? He looked like he was having a stroke. <laughs> yes, I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> and um, um, 
Reagan throws each of you a black um, sort of heavy coat to mask all of your armors and stuff so that no glints in the moonlight will give away your position and encourages you, as he and his men are already doing, to smear black pitch over your faces. Are you ready to fuck up some pirates? Big time! I feel like... Raptors aren't going to be super useful. No, we'll put little better claws on them. <laughs> okay, right. No, 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 you're, 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 you're quite right. You can't take your raptors. And he says, no, it's, I've already, I didn't realize this, but it's fine. We have pens here. We can just sit, um, seat them for you. And he rings a bell and a tabaxi shows up to s- stable your raptors. Different, different tabaxi? No, there's only one. <laughs> oh. Oh. Anyway, I'll just... Oh, I see. <laughs> Right. Anyway, and she actually just fucking lets it go. Because she's like, I <laughs> she don't want Because she has a pocket full of hard narcotics. Yeah, and she's taking some of it. So she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cool, cool. <laughs> and she takes them and she locks them away in the pen. And the dragon friends with pitch on their faces and their hearts full of righteousness. For once in their lives, there is time to give something back to a world that they have taken so much from. For <laughs> as the drums of war sound in Fort Belurian and the call has been let out, the dragon friends shall not be found wanting they will do it for the glory they will do it for the lord's alliance they will do it let's be honest to be paid and if someone's going to kill a pirate king i guess it gets to be you guys which we will see doubtlessly in unnecessary graphic detail in the next adventure of the dragon friends thank you yay there was not a lot about stealing dinosaurs in exchange for drugs just just like watching your friend who's never played Zelda just stay in the shop the whole time. <laughs> just talking and just trying out all the different yeah, man, responses. Yeah, it's not important. It doesn't matter. Smash like. all the pots open, <laughs> nothing in them, but just got to check every single pot just to make sure. Just in case, just in case. Yeah.